And follow my sister YouTube page too. Thank you. Hey guys, good afternoon. It's Saturday. Um, just ordered some lunch. Got some Thai food. Nothing crazy, just some calamari. I'm stuck up a calamari, some Thai iced tea. But um, we're gonna do a story time after I, we're gonna do a combination of a get ready with me story time. And I'm gonna tell you guys about my surgery I had last week almost two weeks ago monday makes two weeks but i'm gonna share that with you guys so first i'm gonna have my lunch and um we'll be back for the story time let me, let me get my life and myself together we'll be back so that's thing one two one did not not the clip being stuck in my hair all right good afternoon welcome back to my channel um, today we're going to be doing a story time. I'm going to let you guys in on um, the details of my surgery and how that went and my recovery process. Um, it's my first time literally trying to put on some clothes today. So as I tell you guys about my surgery and my process, my healing process and everything, um, I'm just going to go ahead and do my hair and makeup. So... Um, I'm no makeup artist, I'm no expert. I'm very, very, very much a beginner. Today I'm gonna learn the um, actual purpose for these brushes. I just use them how I think they should be used. Your girl need her brows done because what what's happening here? But yeah, I'm gonna need someone to come to my house and do my brows because this ain't it. Then you start to blend. And child, please blend. Blend well. Blend until you can't blend no more. Blend until you forgot you was blending. It's the double, it's the double chin for me. All right, so I like to just spray some of this. Like I said, it's a Tatcha mist. Okay, so today is Sunday. Um, I think it's like the 9th or the 8th. It might be October 8th, October 9th. It's one of those two, but um, I had surgery. 
I had an injury to my foot a few months ago, back in, I want to say February, March, right? Broke a bone or two. Had to wear a boot for a while. Very, it was very frustrating, very annoying. I was not used to not being fully independent and being able to do everything on my own, so that was annoying. Um, yeah, but I got through that, thought I was healing. Had periodic visits to the doctor um, to check on my progress. And my doctor, who's a very great doctor, um, very great doctor, he's a lead, he's a head surgeon in the field of the department, I think, if I'm saying that correctly. Um, but yeah, so we tried to do everything we could to avoid me getting surgery, right? And fast forward, it is now, well, it's October now, but September, well, August actually, we, we, figured out the best option would be surgery. So we went ahead and moved forward with planning for surgery. So let's just say I'm in my third decade of life and I have never had a major surgery or anything. So I didn't really know what to expect. Of course I do what everybody says don't do. I went on uh, YouTube and I started Googling the procedure, the surgery, looking at everything, looking at everybody else's healing process. But you know, no two people are alike, so you can't really compare someone else's journey to yours. Everyone heals differently, everyone deals with things differently. And I, I have a very high tolerance when it comes to pain. So I'm thinking, okay, a surgery, I'm gonna be a little pain, I'm not taking no pain medicine. I'm not taking no pain medicine. I'm gonna thug it out, I'm gonna deal with it because you know. It's not, and I, it's not gonna be in pain, but I'm gonna I'm I'm get through it. Next, I'm thinking next day I'm gonna get out the hospital, probably like two, three days. I'm gonna be moving around a little bit. And let's just say I was wrong. I was extremely wrong, like extremely wrong, like like very wrong, very wrong. So yeah, I was, ex I was extremely wrong. Um, all right, so fast forward. You know, I'm doing my little things here and there before surgery, knowing I'm about to probably not be able to function the same but again as i said i didn't think it would be but so bad so monday morning i go to the hospital i take myself over to the hospital and i go upstairs and everything go into my room my uh pre-op room and it was at that very moment when i'm like all right now this i'm getting a little scared so they have me changes in my gown i had to take everything off they gave me a thing to put on my head um this is how i looked your, your girl looked like this, just like this. Um, so I changed, put all my stuff in my locker or whatever. I think being that we were a little delayed with the procedure um, due to a patient before me, that made me anxious. So now I'm like, okay, now what's happening? Had to go um, put an IV. Uh, I think I had to take pre-meds, like nausea medication and something else. And my doctor came in, he explained what's gonna happen what they're gonna try to do and try to avoid. Um, so next thing you know, I'm in the on the way to the operating room. And it's 10 a.m. Monday, September 27th, and I'm on my way to surgery. Okay, so this was on Monday, September 27th. Um, get home, I got picked up. I had to lay across on the back seat of the car. All I remember was laying on the couch, putting my foot up, not being able to move my foot. And I was like, I still came home like, I'm not gonna take this medication the doctor gave me. I don't take meds. I'm not taking nothing, not no time, no, not these. I think I got Percocets, I'm not sure. But I'm like, I'm not taking none of this. I'm, I'm gonna get through this. And then? One hour later. I need to take a Percocet because I can't deal with this. Da, da, da. And that, I thought, that's when I thought I felt pain. Apparently, I still had the, the nerve blocker was still active. So I feel the pain I thought I was feeling. The next day come, like I think the next day or two, 
when I tell you I was crying and I couldn't move or nothing, just going against everything I, I, I go for. Time law, payments, this, that. I'm like, all right, I can't do this. I just can't. Yeah, so that's that's pretty much what happened. I ended up taking the painkillers and... Ugh, sorry, y'all. I ended up taking the painkillers and watch, watch these clips and videos and bits of everything that had happened up until now. Um, roll the tape. Good morning. Um, one day after surgery. I don't know if I feel pain in my foot or if my foot is just swollen, but I gotta get used to this. Minor setback for a major comeback. Just woke up to some edible arrangements from my favorite cousin. What you over there doing? Huh? What you over there doing? What am I doing? Oh. Fucking Papa John heard this. <laughs> We're eating pizza tonight, bitch. <laughs> This is the before. It's gonna go in the oven. Updates coming soon. The aftermath. Looking good. We'll be back with the taste test shortly. This is Jamila, my sister. You wanna say anything? Uh, well, my Instagram is Jamila Uh I do hair, you know, from time to time. You're gonna let us know what you're cooking or you want us to come back in a little while? I just got here. Let me start Okay. My chef yesterday didn't do this, so I'm just trying to figure out how you're moving. But I'll be back. I don't think your chef yesterday was an actual chef. But. I get a new chef every day, sweetheart. Excuse me, ma'am. Do you have any taxes, spots? Can you show the top, please, to chef? Top of the morning, top of the morning, top of the morning, top of the morning, top of the morning. Happy October. Although I know I was having surgery on my foot or my ankle or my Achilles or whatever, I honestly didn't think the pain would be this bad. And I didn't think I would be this, this um, bed bound, like, I'm not bed bound, I can get up, but one leg doesn't feel like, one leg doesn't feel strong, like, and then having to learn how to walk with crutches, that's a whole nother story. Something as simple as brushing your teeth, doing your face care routine every morning or every night, or showering every morning or every night, like, then I can't even fit like a pants leg or anything over this cast. and. It's getting cold outside. I have a follow-up appointment next week. And it's just like, what the freak? Like, this is not okay. But, in other news, maybe tomorrow or Sunday, I'm going to take this bonded off and try to get my life together and get out of bed. Um, the pain just be too crazy. My foot is swollen every single day. Um, it's October 1st. It's Friday. New month, new beginnings, new opportunities, new blessings. Um trying to stay focused i know it's mind over matter it's a mental thing so i'm trying to stay focused yeah gotta keep going gotta keep going i'm not really trying to show off or nothing but i just made the bed y'all i just made the bed like i took the blanket the comforter and everything off it was a task but your girl did it I'm proud of myself. I even cracked the windows and stuff. I'm I'm happy. This made my day. <sighs> oh, I'll figure it out though. But I really don't that's what I say, I really don't care. It ain't
Hmm. What's about to happen here? Y'all, I promise y'all that you're going to fall in love. This is by far my favorite type of banana pudding. And this tells me that fall is officially here and it's, it's, it's official. So, hold on. I, I'm, I'm going to show y'all what I got. Hold on. Just, just give me a second. Give me a second, y'all. This pumpkin banana pudding, though? Listen, 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 just, just head over to Magnolia right now. I, I, you won't regret it. Thank me later. Thank me later. Guys, my little brother came to my house to visit me today and he showed up with an iPad. I'm going to tell you a backstory about why he got me an iPad. You know why I feel like I'm stuck in life? It's because I ain't got an iPad. Like, no, I cracked the code. That's the reason. And every time I see somebody who's life together or is at peace in life, they have an iPad. I don't have one. Excuse my parents. I look crazy. But. I'm washing my dishes. I'm cleaning my room. I'm doing everything. Y'all, I'm going to show you something. They ain't it. It's, it's like having one leg and no arms because you've got crutches and you can't really carry another. I was attempting to put some clothes in a machine. <laughs> So I went to sit down, but I had, I guess the chair was halfway on the wood and halfway on the kitchen floor. So it just, it didn't work out well, but I'm okay. So that was my process. That was surgery. That was after, that was days after. Um, my scooter came, I got my scooter. Okay, y'all, the scooter has arrived. Oops. I thought it was going to be put together, but I don't think it is. Let's see. I'm breaking stuff. I wanted to get something real simple for my first scooter. Nothing foreign. Just something real regular. But yeah, it got to be put together. So I'll show you how to finish product later, y'all. You girl got a mask to have in front. Oh. It's about to be crazy in these streets. I'm going to have my... My beverages in here, my snacks in the front. Right. Now I gotta just put everything together. So let's see how this goes. I got my scooter, so now these. Lovely crutches. I'm gonna I'm still use them, but at least I have the alternative. I have my scooter in case I want to try to do things around the house when I'm by myself. Um, but yeah. Um, and by the way, I put pants on for the first time today, so yeah, I got some pants. You got some pants. You girl got some pants on today. I'll talk to you guys soon. Um, stay tuned for another vlog. And be sure to like, comment, and subscribe.